You okay? I can't believe I am. I can't believe Monica got out of there with just a broken ankle. I mean. Basically, the story for Dynasty revolves around two wealthy families who try to gain control of a family fortune. While the series contains a bunch of other stories, this is basically what it entails. The show, which began in 2017, has grown to be one of the most popular choices on Netflix and even enjoys a positive review on IMDb. The show begins with the story of Fallon Carrington, a Harris who is unhappy to find her billionaire father, Blake Carrington, married to Crystal Flores. Naturally, Fallon makes an attempt to destroy their relationship, but it only backfires. Furthermore, the show is a revival of the 1980s show of the same name, and it was renewed for a fifth season on the 3rd of February 2021. Interestingly, the show Dynasty, which is co-written by the creators of Gossip Girl, Josh Schwartz, Stephanie Savage, and Sally Patrick, tells the story of the two richest American families. And it's not a coincidence that the actors that play these roles are extremely rich in real life. Here's a breakdown of how rich the cast members of the show are, but before we get into the video, please do leave a like and subscribe the channel, as well as hit that post notification bell so that way you don't miss anything else that we put up. Elizabeth Gillis Elizabeth Gillis plays the role of Fallon Carrington on the show, an energy executive and the heiress to an Atlanta energy fortune. The young actress doesn't just appear on Dynasty only, as she's also appeared in films like Vacation in 2015, Arizona in 2018, Animal in 2014, and the series Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll. The young actress also voiced the role of Daphne in Nickelodeon's Winx Club. You would also recognize recognize Gillis from Big Time Rush and Victorious. Gillis also doubles as a singer, as she released her debut song in Victorious with the song Give It Up in 2011. She sang alongside Ariana Grande and went on to release a number of other songs on the show, such as You Don't Know Me and Take a Hint. Even though Gillis is just 27 at the moment, her career seems to be climbing up the scales. Also, since her addition to the show Dynasty, her net worth has increased tremendously, as today, according to various media houses, Gillis is worth around $4 million dollars and is even believed that she makes at least 15,000 from one single episode of the show where she appears in almost every episode of the show for the first time according to celebrity net worth she makes around a million dollars each year from films and tv series while also making money from sponsorship deals commercials and streams from her songs grant show grant show plays the role of blake carrington on the show the father of fallon and ceo of carrington atlantic the actor is best known for his role on melrose palace as jake hansen a role that he played from 1992 to 1997. He's also appeared in movies like The Girl Next Door, Born to Race, The Possession, and Action Figures. You might also remember him from the before and after episode of Grey's Anatomy, where he plays the role of Dr. Archer Montgomery. Grant Allen's show also recently co-starred as Spence Westmore in Devious Minds. Plus, he also landed a reoccurring role in The Family in Satisfaction. The 58-year-old actor is estimated to be $5 million. Robert Christopher Riley Christopher Riley plays the role of Michael Cohen on the show, the family chauffeur and the on and off lover of Fallon. Riley, who also is a stage actor, became popular after he appeared in the VH1 hit drama series Hit the Floor as Terrence Wall, the captain of the Devil's Team and also the boyfriend of Jelena. As a stage actor, he's also consistently appeared on Broadway. Once, he played the role of David Robinson in Lombardi and also appeared in the 2009 production of Cats on a Hot Tin Roof by Tennessee Williams, playing the role of Brick, an interesting role which had once been played by Terrence Howard. Riley also appeared on the TV One movie, Bad Day Rehab, where he played Jared. In 2007, he began playing the role of Michael Keelan on Dynasty. The actor is believed to be around three to five million dollars and is expected to get paid more than 10,000 per episode. Rafael De La Fuente. Rafael De La Fuente is one of the most successful actors on the show. He plays the role of Sammy Joe, the wayward nephew of Crystal and Steven's ex-husband. As his name already suggests, Rafael is a Venezuelan actor and singer, and you would probably remember him as Michael Sanchez from Empire, the boyfriend of Jamal Leon in the first two seasons of the hit show. The actor, who began his acting career in 2009 with a breakout role of George Giraldo in the telenova Mas Sabe de Diablo, has also appeared in the ABC miniseries When We Rise, where he played the role of Ricardo Canto, the boyfriend of Cleve Jones. Another iconic role that he has taken the role of is Diego Forlan in the Latin American fantasy series by Nickelodeon, Grachi. In the second season, he became an important character.
character, earning him a reoccurring role. In the English language remake of the Grachi, known as Every Which Way, the actor also secured a role as Coach Julio. Interestingly, his addition to the cast of Dynasty might also be the show's attempt at inclusivity, since his character is a gay male version of Sammy Joe Carrington from the original series, a role which was played by Heather Locklear. In 2009, the actor publicly acknowledged his sexuality as a gay male. Even though he had played several gay roles in the past, he didn't acknowledge this until 2019. As previously mentioned, he is one of the richest actors on the show, with a net worth of around $64 million. Alan Dale Alan Dale is a New Zealand actor who plays the role of Joseph Anders on the show, and is the biological father of Stephen, and also the majority of the Carrington family. He appeared as Jim Robinson in Neighbors, a role so important that he made him a stereotype cast in Australia, which turned out to be difficult for him to find a job. In 2000, he decided that he wanted to move to America, where he found roles in many American series, such as The O.C., where he played Caleb Nichol and Ugly Betty as Bradford Mead. He also found reoccurring roles in series like Lost, The West Wing, Entourage, The X-Files, NCIS, ER, and Once Upon a Time. He also appeared in minor roles like the film Star Trek Nemesis, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and Captain America the Winter Soldier. For an actor who came from a relatively poor family, he has a story of rags to riches. This is because the actor, who was once a skilled rugby player, is worth over $8 million today. He said his decision to go into acting was, quote, When I was 27, I started to get really jumpy and thought, what would I do to be able to give the same buzz rugby did? Acting was what came to mind, so I told my wife, look, I really can't stand it anymore, I'm gonna have to go and be an actor. This has no doubt been a very bold career change. Sam Lewis Underwood Sam Lewis Underwood is a British actor who plays the role of Adam Carrington on the show, the eldest son of Blake and Alexis, who was kidnapped when he was an infant. Sam also appeared on the Fox thriller drama The Following as the twins Like and Mark Gray. You might also recognize him as Jake Otto from the AMC series Fear the Walking Dead. For an actor whose character began in 2010, Sam Lewis had an impressive run. He's appeared in the eighth season of the TV series Dexter, where he played the reoccurring role of Zach Hamilton, the protege of Dexter Morgan. He also joined the third season of the show Homeland as Leo Karras. He's estimated to be worth around $5 million. Sam Atagoke Sam Atagoke plays the role of Jeff Colby on the show, a young business rival to Blake Carrington, and is eventually revealed to be the nephew of the billionaire CEO. Born in Lagos, Nigeria, he moved to the U.S. when he was just a child. Atagoke was the winner of the annual third ABC Discoveries Digital Talent Competition. In 2017, he played the role of Javen Beer, the bodyguard of Michael Jackson in the biopic, Michael Jackson Searching for Neverland. After this, he became a recurring character on Murder in the First and has guest appearances on shows like Code Black and NCIS Los Angeles. His estimated net worth is somewhere between one to five million dollars as of 2020. Nathalie Kelly Kelly played the role of Celia Machado and that of an imposter, acting as the stepmother of Fallon, Crystal Flores, a woman with a very shady past. However, Kelly left Destiny after the first season since her character was left for dead in a building at the end of season one. Celia is deemed an imposter, and the real Crystal Flores appears in the second season, a role played by Anna Brenda Contras. Nathalie Kelly, a Peruvian Australian actress, appeared on the show Mermaid in a one hour pilot episode for the WB. However, the pilot was canceled when the WB and UPN merged into the CW and the network passed on the show. However, Kelly would get another chance at stardom in the film The Fast and Furious, where she appeared as Neela. Kelly also appeared in the music video for the song Just the Way You Are, where she played the love interest of Bruno Mars. She also appeared on the show Body of Proof, Unreal, and as Sybil in the final season of The Vampire Diaries. In 20 2020, she landed the role in the ABC series The Baker and the Beauty, where she plays the role of Nora Hamilton. Today, the actress is reportedly worth around half a million dollars, and we hope the world will appreciate her talent more in 2020 as she will land better paying roles. Madison Brown Australian actress Madison Brown joined the cast of Destiny in Season 2 as Kirk Anders, the daughter of the Carrington estate manager, Joseph Anders. According to the network, Kirby grew up in the staff's living quarters with her father and sides more with the downstairs occupants than the upstairs. 
Carringtons. She also had a fraught history with the Carringtons, specifically a temptuous relationship with Fallon that was the reason for Kirby's exile from the manor years ago. And while she did return to Atlanta to make amends with her father, she'll certainly continue to wreak havoc on the Carringtons. Madison Brown made her acting debut at the age of six in the movie Go Big, and also starred alongside Nicole Kidman in the 2015 drama film Strangerland. The young actress is estimated to have a net worth around $1 million. However, we do believe that this will change in the next few years as this talented actress goes out to do more things. And with that, we wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and until then, see you next time.